What's good YouTube, it's Jacob Rudabori here, I hope you're doing fantastic. Today we're going to check out Avalanche Cryptocurrency. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe as well as we will be navigating the tumultuous waves of the bear markets together. So looking at the grand scheme of things actually, um, crypto rank, the entire market is looking very, very nice on the one day performance. Of course, over the week, we're still down in different places but we are looking pretty strong at the moment as we're getting a lot of green on our network map over here. We can see blockchain infrastructure is doing very solid, probably the most lucrative and you know worthy sort of sector of crypto to invest in. Of course, we've also got DeFi coin as, as well and DeFi projects doing really, really good. Um, DeFi being the most versatile. So bullish is how I'm feeling about the current weeks to come for cryptocurrency. We can see Avalanche at the moment, $27.40. We've had a huge pump to the upside. Let's just give this a little refresh. 10.45% on the daily time frame so far. Rank 15, guys. Um, massive market cap of $7.67 billion. So looking really, really strong. Now let's have a little look at what's going on with the charts for Avalanche. So on the weekly time frame, we're finally kind of breaking out of this um, huge downtrend that we've got. I mean, we're still in a downtrend, but it's the first green weekly candle in nine entire weeks that we've seen for this project. And looking at the RSI, it does look like we're starting to bottom out and get that bounce. As you can see, each time we're at the bottom of the um, descending channel that we're in on the macro scale, we are getting that bounce to the upside. So it's just almost reflective. So what I do expect to happen is the RSI should effectively come up at some point, uh, maybe a bit higher, but I do expect a swing high up to around $71. What happened before when we put through this swing low, we came up 95%. If we were to assume a diminished return over here from the swing low, which is probably gonna be around this area, if we assumed 70% or even 80, we'd be at least moving up to the 40 ish dollar level right here. So we're currently in a descending channel. As you see, we've got the lower highs. We've also got the lower lows on the support trend line. Now, looking at the daily time frame, I can see that we're breaking to the upside of this falling wedge within the descending channel itself. So we've got a bullish pattern, bullish reversal pattern within a bearish continuation pattern. So what I can see is major support at $23 and again at $21 over here. Look at the capitulation wick and look at the amount of buying pressure from that particular event over there. So what's happening is we've broken out of the resistance now. We're forming a nice double bottom. We've got really strong strong daily candle resulting in around a 15% pump to the upside. If we can break through the double bottom neckline, the next price target for me is actually going to be continuation to the upside at around $29. As you see where we've got this key bit of resistance. And if we break through, I do expect us to actually come up, retest, and then come to around this $33 to $34 level. And the reason is because it's actually part of this resistance here on the diagonal side of things. So I do expect a nice take profit zone to be around about this $32 level. Also where we have a lot of resistance from this swing high on the 23rd of May, 2022. So keep an eye on these levels guys. Of course we can lose this support. We can come back, retest $24 and even fall back into the falling wedge. So always be precarious when setting up trades as we're also a bit overheated on the four hourly relative strength index timeframe. So just keep your eyes out on this particular levels guys i think it's very very important i mean if we do zoom out very quickly look at how far we've come for this project if you were buying at 146 dollars now is effectively a good time to load up and dollar cost average in even if you bought the higher prices at around 59 dollars it brings down your average entry cost which means you can either take profits or get out of the investment sooner rather than later and looking at the fib retracement again you can see that we actually fell below that 0.786. So we're all the way down here at $23, and it does look like a really, really nice undervaluation and reaccumulation opportunity for this project. Give the video a thumbs up if you are bullish on Avalanche. By the way, guys, I'd love to know your feedback and what you're doing at the moment. A bit of crypto news, we've got New York May ban, Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin price drops. So New York lawmakers passed a bill to ban Bitcoin mining activities running on carbon-based power sources. The bill could still be vetoed by Kathy Hochul, NY governor since 2021. What else have we got? So we scroll down a little bit. We can see that the Bitcoin investor A. Pompliano 
tweeted that the proposed Bitcoin mining ban could be deemed a violation of the Fifth Amendment and to be deemed as unconstitutional. His reasoning was that Bitcoin is a form of property and Bitcoin is a way to protect that private property. So it probably won't even go down even if they tried to push with it. What else do we have? Five reasons why Bitcoin be a better long term investment than gold. We probably also know this as well. Value retention, let's not remember, it's scarce. Digital scarcity is important. 21 million total supply. We don't know the total supply of gold. It could be a thousand million tons. It could be a trillion tons. We really don't know the true answer. Could Bitcoin be a better hedge against inflation? It's always a good argument. Um, Bitcoin could mirror gold during geopolitical uncertainty. So if like wars and things break out, maybe we're going to see the stability and rigidity of Bitcoin that also sees gold. So that would be very, very nice. The dollar keeps losing value. Fiat currency does keep losing value over time. Bitcoin, when you zoom out, it only gains value. So you could probably speculate that Bitcoin would be worth around $150,000 by 2030. What else would we have a... Well, one of my favorites, you can take Bitcoin anywhere with you in your pocket, in a ledger, in a wallet or something like that. You cannot carry it around a suitcase full of gold or shove it down your back pocket. And that's another great thing about Bitcoin. And also because it's digital, it's immersive. You can use dApps, exchanges, you've got DeFi. There's just so much more you can do with cryptocurrency as opposed to gold, even though it's pretty cool to wear a bit of jewelry here and there. So I think Bitcoin, because it's a huge hype, it's a trend, lots of future, um, I think the future generations, even from a young age, will be adopting very, very early and using cryptocurrencies. So it's just so much easier to access and get hold of. Anyone can actually get Bitcoin today. I mean, it's really, really simple. Bitcoin may also hit 40 thousand dollars in 2022 but buying bitcoin now is as good as it gets analyst says well you could probably agree with that on some levels uh that it could come down lower if we look at the blx chart you can see we didn't touch down the 200 week moving average like we did prior to this but uh we did get a huge buyback at 25.6 thousand dollars and again this is the first green weekly candle that we've seen for bitcoin in some time but we do have a huge amount of selling pressure around this 32.3 k dollar level so maybe the trend is still down maybe this is just a little dead cat bounce in the market lots of people are speculating the fear lingers as well continues to show that the sentiment in the market right now is extremely fearful and again that can usually offer strong returns and present good you know opportunity to actually accumulate more cryptocurrencies so we're all about holding for three years four years five years ten years if you want to be part of the notification nation guys make sure you also smash the little bell at the top of the screen right there subscribe if you're new here make sure you also head down below into the telegrams to learn to trade for the best crypto education trading strategies and also find yourself into the comprehensive crypto news and insights telegram as well if you want to stay up to date with the most trending key and interesting news in the market thanks so much for watching bye for now see you guys